Jay, fight number five, uh, December the 3rd, back where you, where, you, where you fought last, wasn't it mate? Yeah, where my debut was and where I fought last, yeah, Bolton. Yeah, um, last time out, Carl Turney. Um, this time out, I've come to speak to you first really, because you're the one who's actually got an opponent on there. Yeah. We've got uh, Fonz Alexander. Yeah, I know. A man, just, I think, probably before Christmas, he'll, he'll be a, a, a centurion and a half. I know, he's, yeah. Uh, he's looking, I think he's on, this is going to be number 547 for him, mate. Yeah, he's a busy lad, isn't he? Yeah. He has been. In fact, I was at uh, his third fight. Um, he fought on one of our shows in Oldham. Uh, and he got a win against a kid called Marvin Greaves. Yeah. Um, and that, that, was, that was, I think, 2014. Yeah. So, he's been around Yeah, he's time. been in the game for a while, hasn't he? I was still amateur back then. <laughs> but, maybe, but, um, no, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to getting back in there. It's been a it's been a while with everything that went on, obviously, the Queen passing and stuff like that. Yeah, because you should have been on that show. Yeah. But actually, you, you pulled out anyway I because had, I had an illness, yeah. Didn't you? yeah, I had an illness, but then the show fell through anyway, didn't it? So, catch yeah. up again. But that's, that's a recurring uh, thing with you, uh, this tonsillitis, isn't it? It's affected it's, you a few times. Yeah, well, I, I never got it cleared up at the start of the year. I, um, I just sort of, I wanted to get busy because I had that, Injury dinner, so I, I was on catch up if you remember. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to just get as many fights in as I could, and it got to the point where it just kept coming back. So we just we chose to pull out. I got I got the proper course tablets, what I was supposed to be on and stuff like that. Cleared it all up for good now, and uh, I took took the time out to just get myself fully better. And I've just seen you on the pad today with because uh, your old man's away. Your old man's on holiday. Getting his teeth done, turkey yeah. teeth. How rude is he? Eh? I know. Just before train, just before, train, uh, just before you fight. But uh, he's back in time for the fight though, isn't he? Yeah, well he's back on Monday, so I have a good bit of time with him. But you're on there with uh, Sharp Styles' first champion. Yeah. In uh, Tom Kidd there on the pads with you. Yeah, still got it on the pads, yeah. Well, I, I think you just made him look good, mate. Yeah, we'll say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you did, you look really sharp, mate, really sharp. And yeah. uh, like I say, you know, we've been looking for one of these performances that gets us all excited. Do you think we're going to get that with Fongs? Because yeah. Fongs... He's a different kettle of fish to, as, as, listen, I love Cal Turner, he's a great kid, um, but he went into defensive mode from round yeah. one, didn't he? I think there are um, the two different sort of styles for me. One l likes to let their hands go from what I've seen of uh, Fonz, which I... Well, he does, if you yeah. put it on him, it brings it back to you. Yeah, definitely, and that's, um, that's what I'd like to see. It's another new style for me to get used to in the pros, which is I'm looking forward to. I'm a... I think you'll see a better version of me when someone lets the hands go on me as well. Yeah. I get time to showcase my skills a bit more than a bit more of a scrappy affair, which last well, time he, I think he, it was. Listen, he, he'll know your, uh, your pedigree from the amateur days. Everyone talks about you highly and all that, but he's going to think you're some young kid yeah. because you are. Yeah. You know, I think he's 32. Yeah. You know, he's a seasoned veteran. He's been around. He's seen it all. He's been in with some of the best kids in the country, yeah. even though he's only early on in the days. I think you could be one of them, mate. No, definitely. No, when you look back, and he'll look back on his career when he's retired, and in five years' time, and you'll fight for world titles. Well, that'd be brilliant if all the names and fucking fights he's had, if he can, if I can stand out. Yeah, you know, that'd be brilliant. That's what yeah. I'm, uh, I believe I can do as well. Is that belief coming more and more realistic to you, though? Yeah, it is. As I'm uh, getting further on, I've. I've not had as, as many fights as we'd like, obviously, but I've been going around sparring, getting the experience in, what, watching other fights and studying it a lot, and I, I believe it's more and more, more each time. Well, you, I mean, let's put it this way, you, you did a lot of rounds with uh, Gordon Smith, who just fought uh, yeah. last weekend, defended his British title. Um, but I remember we watched a, a great spar between you and Florian Marku. You know, and these guys that are uh, levels well above where you are at now, yeah. um, but levels where you want to be. Definitely, yeah. Um, do you, can you take anything from spars? I know we all say sparring, sparring, but you've got to be able to take some confidence from them, haven't you? Yeah, I'm, um, I've, I can honestly say I've never felt out of place with anyone, ever. And I, um, I do believe when I'm three or four years down the line where they are with the, the experience they've got, I'll be... Um, I'll be at the level there. Yeah, there do, you, right, do you think you've still got a little bit more growing to do? Because you, you fight at welterweight. Yeah. Um, 
And you're not small or anything like that, but you no. make it easy, don't you? Make it really easy, yeah. But I, uh, I live the life, I'm in here all the time. Even when I'm ill, I'll, I'm, if I have two or three days off, I'm bloody bored. I'm itching to get back in the gym. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. So, is there room for you to go? To be, did you just talk about Troy Williamson? You've been down there, yeah. up there, not you weren't sparring with Troy, one of your mates were. No, Ben. Um, but, you know, you're saying the size of him, yeah. and you don't understand how he can make uh, like middleweight. Yeah. Um, is, is that what you think you can do? You can be a guy when you look at you, you go, well, you're well away. I definitely think there's more filling out for me to do, yeah. I don't know whether I'll grow any taller, but I'll, uh, I can see myself filling out a bit more from. Last year when my debut was to now I can see a bit more, like a bit more filling out, do you know what I mean? Do you still do all those crazy things here? Because it's weird, I know it sounds noisy here. It gets here, weirder and weirder every day you come in late, all, yeah. the, all the training, yeah. I, I know because everyone's gone, you yeah. know, it's just you and your old man. And, I mean, like say so we've got Lewis over there, Lewis right, former, and another one of your old amateur champions, isn't yeah. it? A big heavyweight kid. Mm -hmm. um, he's in the background making lots of noise. Yeah. But, um, it, it must be weird coming in, it's a bit like, is it haunting? No, it's um, it's nice for me, I can, just, I can just focus on what I need to do and stuff like that. Whereas, when you've got your full class, you're getting one or two drills out in an hour and a half, whereas I can get five, six, seven, go through a lot of stuff with my dad, and it gives him more time to think of bloody crazy stuff when he's at home, you know what he's like, he <laughs> comes up with all sorts of things. Yeah, but they're all old school things that he does with you, yeah. which I think a lot of people forgot about. And yeah. he seems to bring you back to make it fashionable. And, you know, you're not like rip, rip, but the strength that you've got yeah. is quite phenomenal. Yeah, definitely. I think it actually works in your favour because the opponents look at you and they look at you and think, some young kid, a skinny kid. But Let him uh, think that, yeah, that'll do me. <laughs> no, I, uh, I believe in all the training he has me doing. I've never, never questioned him once. No, 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 rather so. I mean, what this place has produced over the years. And it must be nice for you because they've all moved down to Jennings, Jim. Yeah. And uh, both, I think young uh, Lane Virtual just got a silver medal in the yeah. uh, junior the Europeans, uh, yeah. uh, Europeans. And I think uh, his older brother Nelson is fighting in a few weeks or in a few days. Is that fighting today? Is he fighting yeah, today? Against Japan, yeah. World Championships. World Championships. And then Levi's. Is that the youth World Championship? Yeah. Then we've got Levi over there, I think he boxes tomorrow. And Corey Scott uh, never managed to do it here. He never yeah. actually managed to win a national title. No, he just won his yeah. first one. No, yeah, you know? buzzing for him. Yeah. And Tom Vardy, I think he's down there now. He's uh, got his first win for Jennings yeah, on the all, show. They're all flying, yeah. All flying as usual. <laughs> all doing brilliant. It's a crazy place, but this, 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 this tiny, tiny little gym has produced in, in such a short period of time. Yeah, he's done well, he has. I don't think he can look back at anything with any regrets, what he did in the amateurs or anything like that. Because it was uh, a... Was... Listen, I, what, he, what your dad achieved in the amateurs, I don't think will ever be replicated again. Uh, for in a short space a sport, of time. But, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's uh, uh, numerous, numerous national champions and, you know, must be 50, 60 North West Regional champions. I know, yeah. Well, he used to go mad at people, didn't he, if they didn't get out of the region. I know. <laughs> he had big expectations, but I think, I think that's why the gym did so well. Everyone just used to bounce off each other all the time, Lee. Yeah. It was just, it was the standard, weren't it? It got to that point where everyone was just national finals, national champions. It became the norm, didn't it? Yeah, it, it did. We're national, I'd say that's why Connie used to feel out of place. I think it, out, there was about 10 of them left here yeah. at the end, and every single one of them were, were multi-time, multi-national champions. But look at Corey now, he's got his national title, so it's obviously, it's brought him on, hasn't it? Yeah. It's, um, it's been brilliant for everyone. Yeah, yeah. no, it is, it's really good. I'd say hopefully we're going to speak with you on December the 3rd, because December the 3rd, Actually, uh, whoever buys a ticket is going to be spoiled. I know, because, yeah, it's a brilliant card, isn't it? Well, it is. I mean, we have arguably some of the best VIP fighters on the show. We've got Jack Cullen, who's normally fighting on the big stage. Yeah. Uh, same with Jack Flatley, he's on there. We've got James Moorcroft, who's hopefully going to be up on the big stage soon. We've got uh, Jake James, obviously yourself. Yeah. There's a couple of the kids who are very good amateurs, uh, who train out at Ricky Atkins' gym. They were making the debuts on there, which is always good fun. Jack yeah. Murphy and um, Adam Khalil. Um, I'm not sure of the whole list, but, but it's a packed, packed card. I think everyone's in for a treat. Definitely, I think there's some, uh, some exciting fights there. There's people with things to prove, like myself, 
there's other people there that are going to try and set statements. So I think every fight's going to be uh, exciting, yeah. Because your dad set you a target uh, of, of 10 wins. In your first 10 fights, you wanted 10 wins and uh, 6 stoppages. I know, so I'm going to catch up, aren't I? Big time. <laughs> so to make up this, for it. this is the first to start, isn't it? But Definitely. The thing yeah. is, Fons Alexander is very, very good at doing his job. Is he coming at 4 or a 6 point? Six. Oh, is it six? Yeah, is this it? is my first six one. This, yeah, which I'm looking forward to, Lee. I feel, feel it's better for me. Yeah. Well, I am looking forward to because we get to see two more quality rounds from exactly, you. Exactly. Yeah, definitely more to showcase. Yeah. Well, like I say, looking forward to it. Uh, any idea what time you're on? Not a clue yet. No, I'm not too sure. Just uh, I'll be early-ish. But well, as I can see today, preparations have gone really well. Looking very, very sharp. Which you always look, but you're looking sharp and vicious now. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it now. I'm just getting to the point of the camp where you're just ready to go now. Just um, open these weeks, hurry up. <laughs> right, well, listen, good luck for the uh, 3rd of December. I'll see you down there, and hopefully I'll be chatting to you after you've say five and all. Yeah, definitely. Thank Jay, you, Lee. You take care, mate. You too. Bye. See you later.